Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. Uh, last video we did uh, until uh, the building the class hierarchy uh, in this uh, pizza, uh, the OWL file. Uh, today let's continue uh, to analyze the all properties uh, with uh, exercise uh, 09. Uh, if I put uh, the repository, so you may uh, still familiar this uh, link. Uh, and I have uh, add some uh, the updates on the uh, this uh, mind map uh, because it's uh, uh, for this uh, chapter 4.6 is uh, the most important thing first is uh, we should clarify the difference between the these three types of property uh, we call this object property, data property, and annotation property. Uh, within the property, you can uh, identify uh, and add uh, those uh, three type of properties uh, based on your purpose. Uh, and as uh, mentioned in this uh, case study, uh, within this chapter, uh, we uh, will focus on the object uh, property. Uh, and uh, uh, in the chapter five, uh, we will mention the uh, data property. Uh, annotation property is not in the current scope, uh, but we will also mention that. Uh, and for con uh, for make you uh, easier uh, to uh, having uh, the these uh, distinctions uh, the difference, uh, I have read uh, those uh, chapters uh, paragraph uh, and add uh, the. Uh, the key message uh, into uh, this uh, mind map. So if you clear, uh, click uh, this uh, item, you can see the comparison between these uh, three uh, the properties uh, and also the, the keywords uh, from this uh, paragraph. Uh, and uh, in short, uh, let's uh, uh, do the, uh, our work uh, to uh, these uh, properties. Uh, uh, the Adding so, moving to the exercise uh, nine. Uh, so until last exercise, we have uh, built the necessary hierarchy, but we focus on the uh, days screen classes. Uh, and for this chapter, uh, we will uh, use the object uh, property uh, the uh, the screen. So you see here we have object property screen, data property screen. Uh, for now, uh, both of them are still empty. Uh, as mentioned in this uh, case studies, uh, you can uh, consider it like the classes. Uh, the root classes is the all uh, thing. Uh, every class is under uh, this uh, thing, uh, similarly to the property. Uh, all the properties is the sub property uh, under all top object property. Uh, all the data properties are under the all top data property. So they are uh, looks like the thing uh, in the classes. Uh, what we will do is uh, make sure you click uh, select this uh, root uh, top object property. Uh, then you can see here uh, this add sub property is uh, clickable uh, because we have nothing uh, the under uh, this uh, top. Uh, so we cannot do the simply uh, because you cannot create another top. So every property should uh, as the child to the top. Uh, but uh, if we add one, then uh, you, uh, you will see here will be uh, clickable. And this is the delete, and this is the straw to uh, the selection. Let's uh, starting from the first is uh, click the next box icon at left, so that which means is this one. Then is to the create a new uh, object uh, property uh, the dialog. Uh, so the property means uh, kind of the relations. So uh, let's use this uh, camel uh, the models uh, the way so. Gradient has an uh, ingredient uh, as our property, so which means uh, something has an ingredient uh, of some uh, something. Uh, and then this, uh, when you uh, back to the class, uh, remember uh, what we did is uh, you click tools, you see the create 
class hierarchy, we use this to create a lot of the topping. Uh, and if you switch to the property and uh, active this uh, as ingredient, we just create it. Now you can see here uh, the create class hierarchy is uh, great, uh, but create object uh, property hierarchy is uh, clickable. Uh, similarly, so if you uh, go to the data property later, you can see here. Uh, so if you click here, then you see you can create data property hierarchy. Uh, so that is the convenient is because in the step three, uh, we want to create uh, two uh, the sub property under has ingredient uh, the object. Uh, so let's do try use this uh, create object property uh, hierarchy. Uh, so here, so let the we has base has topping. So when you we don't need the prefix or suffix. So let's uh, continue. Do you want to make simply a property disjoint? So uh, let's uh, click this. So if they have space, uh, they should not have a uh, topping. Uh, oh, uh, maybe it's uh, less. Uh, uh, Unclick this uh, uh, and to see that because uh, one pizza has space, uh, also this pizza can has topping. So uh, it's not looks like it's, uh, uh, that they are uh, disjoint. So let's uh, finish first. Uh, so you see here is you can expand this. Uh, so uh, synchronize the reasoner. Uh, so we, we didn't uh, uh, activate this on this uh, new. Uh, the PC. So I changed the PC. So now is uh, let me start, and now you can see uh, you uh, you can uh, because I didn't change anything. So uh, next time is uh, this uh, synchronize uh, can be clicked. Uh, so uh, what we have done until now is looks like there is a figure four eleven. Uh, so that means is we have created one uh, uh, the object property and create two sub property of this uh, property. Uh, so uh, thank you for watching. So next uh, the video we will move to 4.7 is the inverse uh, property. So that will be more interesting So uh, to link the property each other. Uh, see you next time.